Working from home may have gotten well, may have gotten you a little relaxed, like wearing sweatpants instead of suits. But apparently how we speak during work hours still matters. There are four words that one study says make you look weak to your coworkers. Any guess is what they might be? Hmm? No, I'm, I'm a little scared because I might say some of them. OK, well, here's <laughs> one of them. Uh, the word like as in we like should pursue that plan or is this like a necessary step to take? Well, it undermines your efforts to present yourself as a leader. Next, never say just as in I just think or I just need or I was just checking in on something. It shows a lack of control and confidence. Also, scrap saying, you know, as in, well, you know, that's something that you know in principle should be, you know, be done. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of you knows. You can come across as inexperienced and uncertain. And finally, do not say feel, as in, I feel good about this design. It displays emotion rather than a sound conclusion. Okay, Jeff, so you were nervous Whoa. about this. Are there any words that you feel like that you're saying? Like, I'm not sure how to feel about this. I think I'd say like three out of four of those. Really? I definitely say I feel mm -hmm. because, you know, there's eight hosts here and there's already too many cooks in the kitchen. So I have to speak for myself and be like, listen, I feel we shouldn't do that anymore, right? I feel like that's being, see, I feel like that's being assertive. I say feel a lot too, Erica. Uh, I don't say the like, at least I hope I don't. If I do, please let me know if I'm saying it's like. It's a survey. <laughs> No, I think this is really important, and I think that women have to be hyper-conscious of this because, unfortunately, just statistically, you know, women are not taken as seriously in the workplace, and then, God forbid, I mean, that's not even breaking down if, you know, women of color are treated. It's even more difficult for them to be treated with respect in the workplace. So, Erica, are you even hyper-more conscious of this? It's so funny because a matter of 10 minutes ago, I sent an email and I went back and took out just. Because I was saying, I, I'm just following up. And then I went to, I'm following up on X, Y, and Z. Because I'm like, why am I saying just? I am following up. It should be, you know, more de like declarative. declarative? Declaration? Declarative? What's De that word? Declarative? <laughs> I know, I'm right there with you. I'm speaking of words, right? But it's, it's true. <laughs> but, I got you. I but got this you. is a really, I think this is really great for everybody to take note of because you you do get judged by things like this. And if you're all, already, the odds are stacked against you, why not um, adopt some of these? And I think we, we sometimes cushion but that, on the flip side to that coin, right, I get always, you're too aggressive, toxic max masculinity, right? So if I say, listen, I'm just following up, and I use the word just, it takes the sting out of it. That's if I write you and say, I'm following up, I can't handle it, he's being too aggressive That's with me. That's interesting. So I think there's two sides to that coin. And on coin. the flip side, if I say just, I feel like I'm too passive. So, See, so hmm. maybe something more to look into. Okay. I'm just saying. I put in just a lot of times to soften that blow right. so I don't come across as aggressive because heaven forbid I have emotions, then I'd be angry. See, that, <laughs> but, I, I hear you. I know. All right, Erica, stick around. Coming up on DBL, Nicole.